What has our study of informal fallacies of reasoning taught us? Just this. Trying to reason validly using only informal reasoning is fraught with danger and uncertainty. Because of the special problems of relevance of premises, or presumption in those premises, or ambiguity of words, phrases, and even whole sentences, informal reasoning does not always guarantee a valid conclusion drawn from those premises. So wouldn't it be nice if we had a foolproof way, a, a, a recipe, much as people use when they make cookies or pizzas, something that we can rely on that's always going to give us a valid argument every time we use that recipe or that form? Well, that's exactly what we're going to study now, because we now come to the fundamental core technology of reasoning in this class. It's called Standard Form Categorical Logic, also known as Aristotelian Categorical Logic. And it was formulated by Aristotle based upon three laws of thought that were derived from ancient mathematics, like the work of Pythagoras, the principle of identity, the principle of non-contradiction and the principle of the excluded middle. Don't worry, you'll learn these along the way. But for now, it's important to realize what categorical logic is. Categorical logic is the study of those forms of reasoning, those sets of reasoning, those arrangements of premises and conclusion that yield a valid argument time after time, regardless of the topic. Because as a critical thinker, that's where we want to start. We're in search of sound reasoning, valid arguments with factually true premises, but let's start with making certain that we always have a valid argument. Thus, categorical logic will give us this. The fundamental idea of categorical logic is based on the notion of category or class or group inclusion or exclusion. For instance, take the example, all dogs are mammals. We understand that's what it means to say that everything that is a dog, every member of the class of thing called dog, is also a member of the class of thing called mammal. But it does not follow, does it, that everything that's in the class of mammal is also in the class of dogs. So, for instance, if I said, all dogs are mammals, and then I turned around and said, ah, but all mammals are dogs, we'd have a problem. So there are guaranteed forms of reasoning that we can use in argumentation time after time, regardless of the content. It doesn't matter what the topic will be. If we use these forms of standard form categorical reasoning, we will produce a valid argument every single time, guaranteed without mistake. And really, that's the place to start as a critical thinker.